Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening. No matter what time of the day it is that you're watching this, my name is Clarissa Young, and I am your fab motivator. That's F A B. I am super, super, super excited to be here with you today. Today is my fab book launch, my 90 day transformation book launch, and I am super, super excited to be here with you guys. I know we we can't be here face to face, but what's the beautiful thing about the fact is. With the fact that we can't be here face to face is the fact that we, everybody could be here, right? That we could be here online. And so I have something phenomenal set up for you guys. Um, and so I just want to thank you all so much for coming to join. So hit the bottom left button, share this video, share this video, come on in, throw some hearts, show some love. I have some phenomenal speakers that set up that's here for us um, as we celebrate the launch of my second book which is available for you right now on amazon where you're able to purchase bacon i see it so i can see all of my sisters that are here right now on the live so i can see the comments and i can say hello to you guys so come on in drop where you are from i want to be able to say hello to you guys um let me see hello hello miss carol hello 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 miss valerie miss joyce miss melody miss kimberly miss brenda miss sharia hello 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 alice happy 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 wednesday thank you thank you thank you so much for joining and with us hit the bottom left button share this video like i said i have some phenomenal speakers that's also set up and guests that's set up to join us on tonight love you all so much thank you so much that's enough of me speaking you guys hear so much from me all the time. So the first person that we have, and thank you so much. So the first person that we have set up that's going to come in is Miss Shanita. Mrs. Shanita is going to tell you all about her and everything that she do. But I will tell you, um, you guys know I'm all about fitness and so forth. Miss Shanita is a fabulous Zumba instructor, and she's going to come in. She has a special treat for you. Um, I have another special treat for you that's at the end. So make sure you share this video as well. But come on in. Come on in. And let's get going. Let me add her in. The floor is all yours, Miss Anita. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Shanita Evans, and I am. Um, a fly body fit coach and fly body stands for fully fall in love with yourself and your body in this moment. Now with fly body fitness focuses on the 40 and over woman who has curves that she wants to tone and tighten and feel good as she transitioned into her best yet, um, her best body and best self yet. Okay. And I teach and help people, women, especially <laughs> fall in love with themselves as they're going through this transition. All right. Um, I'm going to keep this short and sweet because it's not about me. It's all about Clarissa and you guys. Um, the steps, are, I'm going to do a song called So Me. Uh, the steps are very, very simple. I like to keep things very simple <laughs> because as we get older, we tend to forget things. I know I do. And I like to keep them repetitive so that you can really enjoy it. So it's about five or six steps. It's called Soulmate by Lizzo. Uh, I hope that you enjoy it. Why don't you join me with that right now? Let's see. Nope, nope, that's not it. Nope, nope, nope. Of course, when you have technology, let's go here. Here we go. Too short. <laughs> Yep, and third. Yep, 
and serve. Yep. And repeat. Steps up. Up. Back. Two. Three. Now. Four. Four. Two. Four. Four. Two. Elbow. Back up. Pull left. One. Two. One. One. Two. Shake. Hey. You got it. Enjoyed that. I will be back as soon as um Miss Clarissa brings love me on. It, love it, love it, love it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so You're much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Throw some hearts for Miss Shanita. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Awesome. I love her and all that she stands for within her movement all about positivity, all about ladies loving on themselves, right? That's everything that you guys know that I stand for within my fab, within our sisterhood, all about ladies um, loving on themselves, loving their body for what they are as we continue to work on our fitness journey and work on our health, but to continue to love ourselves as we are along our journey. And so thank you all so much um, for joining us. It's so much more that we have for you, but just want to say thank you so much for plugging in and for joining um, for my 90 day fab transformation book launch, right? We can't be in person together, but we can come up online together. Um, and so I want to say thank you to some sisters that's here. Thank you so much, Miss Ramona that's here, Miss Joyce, Miss Jacqueline, Miss Shanita, Darius that loved it. Um, Miss Melody's here, Yolanda's here, throw some hearts, guys. Jacqueline's here, Kimberly shared it. My brother's here, Valerie's here. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. All right, guys. And so our next speaker that we have up, you know, while we're on this fitness journey, um, the 90 Day Transformation book, which I will go over a little bit more over it um, a little bit at the end. But it's all about eating right, right? And so our next guest, I won't give away her topic. I will not give away her topic. But however, she's going to give us some vital tips, right? She's going to give us some vital tips, not only just about weight loss, but about how we eat and how it affects us in general. And so you do not want to miss this. You do not want to miss it. Hit the bottom left button, share this video as I bring to you Miss Denise Henry. All right, let me add her in. Guys, throw some hearts, throw some hearts, throw some hearts. And show her some love. Let me bring her in. Awesome. Hi. Hey, girl. How are you? Doing? <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey. Denise, the floor is all yours. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you're hello welcome. there, ladies. How's it going? Hopefully, you're doing fine this evening. I am um, coming to you from the South. I'm in Arkansas and it's currently raining, um, but it's it's a decent uh, temperature outside. And, um, but it is definitely sunny and bright um, here. 
here on the inside of my heart, inside of my soul. And I'm so glad that I have gotten the invitation from Mrs. Clar Clarissa, Clarissa, excuse me, to um, just share my thoughts and share my heart and share even a little bit of my own personal journey uh, with you guys um, as it relates to health and wellness. Um, and so again, my name is Denise Henry. I am um, your everyday wellness, wellness coach, wellness um, pusher. And so hopefully something that I say tonight will encourage you, will propel you to, to live your best life to, um, in, in your health and in your wellness. Um, I have some notes. So if you see me looking down or looking away from time to time, I am looking down at some notes because I want to make sure that I stay on track and stay within the time that I have allotted. As you can see, I'm still in the holiday mood. I got my little bling on. Maybe you guys got a little bling on as well. And so I'm excited about this year 2020 that's to come. Um, I know for a lot of people, 2020 has brought many challenges and difficulties, but I just want to share with you that um, 2020 may have thrown some curveballs and even some fastballs at you. My husband is a, a, a softball baseball player, so I, I, I throw those in there from time to time. But um, it's just, you know, even when they come, it's okay. You can, you know, we we can dodge those and we can learn how to hit 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 those those um, challenges and difficulties out of the ballpark. Um, and so tonight, um, I'm just going to share a little bit about my journey and my health and wellness journey and my and my different struggles and different things like that. Um, I can't really see the chat. I don't think, but I would love for you to put in the chat um, kind of some of your health and wellness goals for 2021 or what are the things that you struggle with um, as it relates to health and wellness and different things like that. So I'll go ahead and give you a hot little minute to put that in the chat um, and um, so that I can see, see those answers. Uh, what do you struggle with when it comes to your health and wellness? Um, and if, if that can be um, physical, mental, emotional, um, et cetera. It doesn't have to just be physical. So I'll wait for those answers to come in for a hot little minute and I'll continue on. I'm not seeing any comments. All right. So as the comments come in, I'm going to share. Um, I'll kick it off. I started for myself. You know, one of my goals for the next year is to drop probably about 60 pounds. I haven't put a number to oh, it. Chris, but that's back in, Adam? one of my goals. Oh, there you are. Okay. Did, that, did we get some comments? Yes. Miss Carol okay. Jones. And, ooh. She gonna challenge my 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 grammar. Miss Carol said that she wants to work on Dever to Codis. Ooh, uh, Miss Jacqueline said she wants to work on consistency. Uh, Miss Yolanda Mayfield says she wants to work on um, chronic hip pain. You want me to keep going? Okay. Yeah, just do a couple of more, and then I'll keep going. Yeah, do a couple more. We'll, okay. we'll answer. We'll get the Ms. answer. Miss uh, Miss Sharita stated that she's diabetic. Miss Jacqueline mm -hmm. also states that she has some bad knees. Ellis says wants to work emotionally. Mm -hmm. Um, Miss Carol told me that that's that stomach and gut issues that that she wants okay. to work on. Super, those are all good um, answers. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, I I definitely definitely can relate to a couple of those. And so, um, with that being said, thank you for your answers, ladies. And here I go. Okay, so I am. Um, uh, my background is in child, adult, and family services and human development. That's where I started this journey. Um, I got the opportunity to be a preschool teacher, and I got the opportunity to work in the private sector, um, helping um, my clients um, in just every in different areas of their life. And so, over the course of the years, I have had the opportunity to just kind of listen to um, to people and to 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 um, get a get a background, um, get background information, and insight information on um, how people choose to live and um, the, their, their day to day life. And so um, that's why I call myself the everyday wellness coach, because it has to do with day to day life and, and decisions and choices and different things like that. 
So um, just a little bit about myself um, and my journey to start off with. So about a couple of years ago, um, I began to notice some changes in my body. If you, if you can't tell, I'm a fairly petite woman um, and have been most of my life. I, I think the, the, the heaviest weight that I've been was when I was carrying my, my son, who's now five years old. Um, that was the heaviest I had ever been. But um, after having him, I just began to notice that my body was going through some changes. Um, I am in my uh, 30s, and so uh, in my 30s, uh, my body just felt different. It felt different from when I was in my 20s, and I just felt like there's something different going on. And so I just began to watch myself and just began to pay attention to the different things concerning my body. And so insert, that is the first um, little tidbit that I want to share with you is to pay attention to your body, listen to your body, observe your body. And um, even when you're like naked or in the shower or, you know, you're putting on clothes and different things like that, just pay attention to the different things concerning your body, you know, freckles and, you know, just different kinds of things like that, bumps, you know, and just the randomity that, you know, sometimes can appear on our bodies, um, acne, just you know, whatever. Um, and so in that, um, as I began to pay attention to my body, I noticed that I was um, having a lot of um, gut issues, a lot of belly issues, um, to the point where um, I just, um, there are moments when I would, I would be balled up on the couch or in my bed, and I couldn't really figure out what was going on and why my stomach was hurting and different things like that. You know, at first I was like, oh, maybe I'm not drinking enough water. Maybe I'm constipated, you know, and I just need to, you know, get some extra fiber in. But as I began to process the foods that I was eating and different things like that, I was like, well, you know, I eat fairly well. you know, I'm a dancer, you know, you know, a couple appointments with my doctor and, but there was no, no final answer, you know, no final, this is what's going on. And so I just began to kind of go through my own journey and I just began to continue to listen to my body more. And so I did a, I went on a fast, um, pretty much stopped eating food for a little bit. And then as I began to um, incorporate my into my body, I paid attention to what the foods were. I paid attention to how much I ate of these foods. So I started out with like little things like cheese and I um, like crackers and fruits and vegetables. And then I incorporated meat in there. And so in the midst of that, um, I began to see that um, meat was causing a lot of my stomach problems, specifically um, beef and chicken. Um, and so as I did that process and I was like, hmm, beef and chicken, that's kind of weird because I've, you know, I've grown up eating beef, I've grown up eating, you know, burgers, you know, chicken breast, fried chicken, baked chicken, all kinds of chicken. I love chicken um, in, in any kind of, in, in many different ways. And so, um, and so for some reason, I didn't notice these things. Um, they could have been happening even in my 20s. Um, even in my teens, but I just never noticed them or paid attention to them maybe even when I um, was younger. Um, and so with that, um, I had to make a choice. Um, I had to make some hard decisions concerning um, eating beef and eating chicken. And so after, you know, a couple of years of um, kind of struggling, you know, because I, I kind of ignored my body, um, I didn't listen to it when I discovered what was going on, I continued to eat chicken. I continued to eat beef. And um, in the midst of that, okay, you know, I'm kind of at my wit's end and I'm, I'm still having these stomach issues. So now what? Um, and so that's the other tidbit. You have to make a choice um, about what you want to do with your body. You have to, you know, come to sometimes some hard choices as it relates to what you put in your mouth. And, you know, going back to, I don't know if I ever mentioned my topic, but um, my topic is you are what you eat. And so paying attention to what you eat and what fuels you um, and, you know, and what even fools you. Sometimes we, we put foods in our bodies and fool us, especially when 
like sugars and preservatives and different things like that, we you know that quick coffee or that quick, you know, snack is, is going to help us get through the day, but today it's really not um, fueling us. It's, it's fooling us. It's, it's, it's causing our body to think that what we're putting in our body is important and it is, it's, it's healthy and it's good for us and it's really not. And so I had to make the choice and I chose to not eat chicken and beef and actually turkey vegetarian um, slash pescatarian and live that lifestyle. And so this all just kind of happened in re um, six to nine months I've been uh, on this journey um, consistently but um, consistently I've been doing it for the last six to nine months. And so with that, um, you know, pescatarian, so I eat seafood here and there with my different meals. And I also um, discovered that I needed to cut down on my dairy. Um, internally in doing that, you know, my husband and I went from eating or drinking 2% um, milk to drinking, you know, almond milk and oat milk and, you know, just more plant-based milks and different things like that. So, um, so I say that all to say, um, one, going back to my first, pay, you know, first thoughts and, and tidbits, pay attention to your body, listen to your body, because our bodies are these perfect machines that we were, that, um, we were created to have, and they, they function, you know, they function perfect. Sometimes we don't realize how perfect they function. You know, we were, these bodies, you know, they self-heal themselves. You know, you get a scratch, you get a burn, you know, you can put some ointment on it, yes, but they, you know, our skin cells, you know, we heal naturally for the most. And so, um, you know, so the, the second part of this is for me, um, when I look at the scale, the scale was saying I'm 100, you know, 10 pounds, 120 pounds. But in reality, the care or even, you know, relate gut health, you know, your gut health is important. Um, and so, um, so if you're looking at me saying, no, she's so thin and she's so healthy, well, I, I am, but I really wasn't healthy, you know, not for me. And so, um, again, I'm not telling you to cut out chicken or beef, but I am wanting to share with you um, if that's something that needs to happen, I would say make that hard deci decision and do that um, because you, ultimately you want to live your best life. You want to feel good on the, you know, on the inside um, because when you do feel good on the inside, it reflects on the outside. Your skin feels better, especially when you're drinking water and you're taking vitamins, you're feeling good on the inside and then that reflects on the outside. The other thing that I decided to do also was to go more natural with the products that was putting on my body and in you know on my hair. Um, my hair is natural. I don't know if you can tell that, but my hair is natural. And so even I went to the extent of not putting chemicals in my hair. Um, and so I've changed my shampoos. I've changed how I moisturize my hair. And I change um, even my deodorant. I've, I've gone more natural in my deodorant. Um, because I want I want to feel good. I want my, my skin to feel good. I want to be healthy in every area of my life, not just, you know, with food and not just with my emotional health, but my mental health as well. And so when I feel good, you know, that's my emotional. When I and I think that I'm good, that's my mental. Then I feel good. And all this cohesive, it comes together. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and so out, the other part of this I want to kind of talk to you about as I listen to, look at my notes, um, is your intentions. I mean, you really want to be intentional. Sometimes being intentional with what we put in our bodies put in our bodies and on our bodies is a daily choice. You know, we can choose to put, you know, whatever we want on our bodies, but to maximize on having the best life, the best healthy life on the inside and the outside, we have to be intentional. Um, it, that's the only way that we're going to get to the goals and meet the goals that we want to, to meet. We have to be intentional and make those sometimes hard decisions in order to get the to produce the results that we want in our bodies. Um, uh, let's see, let me look at my notes right quick. Um, yeah, and um, adding to that discipline and consistency, you know, when you make these choices to live a better, to live a better healthy life, um, we have to do it with consistency. Um, and, you know, sometimes, you know, we fall off. I know with women, especially for me, um, when the, our time of the month comes, you know, we're craving sugars, we're craving so many different things because we're having, um, 
there's a chemical imbalance that's going on because we're, you know, we're, we're releasing something. And when we're releasing things, we have to fill our, fill it up back, you know, fill ourselves back up with something and we're losing blood. And so the first thing to do is go reach for that, that candy bar, those chips or something like that. When in essence, our body really doesn't want those things. It wants something a little bit more healthy. So, you know, grabbing some almonds and grabbing some, you know, natural chips versus, you know, fatty chips, some, you know, greasy chips, um, or even, you know, just getting you some celery with some, you know, ranch dip. That's kind of one of my favorite things I like to do to supplement those cravings that we're having for that sugar, for those, for that chemical imbalance that we may be experiencing. Um, I, some of you, you know, commented that you deal with diabetes and different chronic pains. And I want to just, you know, challenge you that, you know, some of the food that you may be eating could be triggering some of the pain that you may be having. Um, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a you know a nurse or anything. So obviously, you know, you consult your doctor with this. But I remember a time when um, when I was eating a lot of sugars and, and intaking a lot of sugar, um, I would get headaches and different things like that. And I know I've also experienced some, um, had, you know, friends and different things when, you know, they ate certain foods, those triggered migraine headaches and other issues with them. And so I just want to encourage you ladies to um, whatever decisions you decide to, to make and changes you decide to make concerning your body inside and out, that you um, commit and be consistent. Also, you know, consult your doctor about it so that you can um, have a plan. You know, that's the other tip tidbit that I want to give you. Have a plan for your health. A lot of times we have a plan for, you know, um, you know, our New Year's resolution, we want, to, we want to lose 10 pounds, we want to do this, we want to do that, but we don't actually sit down and create a plan to actually do those things, you know, and so for me, I had to create a plan, my husband is not vegetarian, so I had to plan my meals whereby, you know, I'm making something for him, and I'm making something for me, and, you know, we, I just kind of had to work it out, um, because I feel like if I had not been intentional about making a food plan and a wellness plan for myself, I would just go back into my old habits of eating meat, and eating meats that are not, you know, serving me a purpose, and not helping me, um, and making me feel even worse than, you know, you know, even worse after I've eaten them. I don't want to be balled up all the time because I've eaten something that my stomach is not, um, agree with, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, eating something that um, causes food poisoning, you know what I mean? Like you, you, it's like you're intentionally food poisoning yourself, you know, when you're eating things that you know you shouldn't be eating kind of thing. Um, I'm going to be wrapping up here. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I need to add. Um, that's if now, um, I always get the, the nutrients and things, um, you know, from meat, you know, from meat, from chicken and, and, and beef that I was getting. So I do, you know, take other, um, supplements to help, you know, help me with, you know, keeping intact and different things like that. Um, so with that, hopefully you caught something, you know, just a reminder here. Pay attention to what it's doing, you know, is it that you're putting in your body, the things that you're putting in your body and on your body, fueling you. And then thirdly, again, um, make those hard decisions and be consistent and disciplined to, to, to work those things out. Um, I think that's all of my time. Thank you so much for listening. And if you have any questions, you know, put them in the chat. I would love to hear them and maybe I can, you know, give a response to them for your time. I love being here with you. Clarissa, thank you again for the opportunity um, to speak to your to your ladies, to your platform. It has been just a joy to have you. Thank you so much. You're muted. I can, you're muted. Oh, might be helpful to have my <laughs> oh, on mute, right? <laughs> you are, you are um, so, so, so welcome. I want to thank you, you know, so much. We can always use tips on, on being consistent and um, being disciplined and so forth. And, and, you know, like you said, um, what you eat is, is what you are, you know, and, and the different things that we eat, it makes a difference. And it's not all about just the number on the scale. 
you know, sometimes people think if you're necessarily small, then it then it means that that you're healthy, or it yeah. means if you're bigger, then it means that you're not healthy. You know, it's it's so much more to it than just the number on the scale. You know, especially when it comes to gut health and so forth. And so, you guys, some phenomenal tips. Um, I'm gonna go back again and even listen to some of the things again. Again, ladies, she said if anyone has any questions, really quick, you can drop the questions in there. Um, we'll also be able to go back and catch it on replay. Um, and Miss Denise will be able to go back and answer them as well. But um, thank you so much. As of now, I don't see any questions um, mm -hmm. inside of the uh, things just yet. I wanted to be able to throw you guys comments up there. But Miss Ramona um, was talking about having a plan and being able to stick to it. Um, Miss Jacqueline was talking about having a plan for health. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Darius was said wonderful tips. Um, Ms. Sharon said, um, great information and tips. Um, Ms. Cynthia said, um, thanks for those tips. Um, Ms. Brenda said, thank you. Ms. Carol said, thank you for sharing with us. There's so many people yeah. here. And said, thank you so much. They're thanking thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Melody said, thank you as well. And so thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I am super, super excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Do not leave yet. I have more for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me so far on my book launch. We could not be here in person, but that means that's a beautiful thing. So many of my fab sisters are here on the launch that do not live here in South Florida with me. So you're here to come and celebrate the launching of, of my um, fab 90 day transformation book, which I will talk about a little bit more after our next guest. Um, again, the books are available now for purchase on Amazon. So our next guest that we have, you've seen her already. She's going to come back and she's going to do one more workout. So guys, make sure you get up. I got on heels right now. Um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I, I kind of almost feel like I should get up a little bit and, and come out work and, and work out with y'all a little bit. Let me, I don't know. Maybe I should get up a little bit. I got, I got on heels, but let's see. Let me bring Miss Shanita on. Oh, hey, Miss Shanita. <laughs> Let me see. Um, Let's see. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's let's see. So do your Fantasia, girl. Kick those shoes off and do the thing. I know, <laughs> right? Let me do a little Fantasia. You go ahead and get started, and we're going to see if All I right. can turn some stuff around and, this, and join you. No problem, love. Okay, so this little routine is called Love Me Ole. Uh, it's a salsa, so it's nice and sexy and everything. Again, very simple steps. I like to keep it very simple. So you can really enjoy it and get into it. And it also helps our, um, those who may not be able to do all the steps. I am the queen of modification. <laughs> so therefore, um, I, I know what you may be experiencing. So I kind of weaved it in there so that you can enjoy it thoroughly. This is a salsa. Love me ole. Let's do it. Let's go. Y'all get up. Here we go. Step up, back. One, two, three. Up, back. Up, back. Up, back. Now hold it here and stir. One, two, three, four, up, back, up, back. Switch. Two front, step up one. Step up two and third. Again, start up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Step out. In, out, in, out, in. Hold it, sir. Step out. Out. One, third. Up and back. Switch. Foot front. One. Two. And third. Step back 
for one, two, three, four, five, six, and third. Up. All right. Feel it. Up, back. Hold it. Let's go. Out, out, and one, two, three. Point it back here. It's third. Third. Out. Out. Third. 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 but I also keep it effective. So you can get a good, as I like to call it, a good sparkle. Right. <laughs> when you don't sweat, you sparkle. <laughs> awesome. Did you guys love that? Awesome, 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 awesome. Awesome. Let me get me a little sip of water and get myself back situated. Listen, <laughs> I thought I was too cute to get up and dance, but y'all know I can't sit still sometimes. <laughs> Give me one minute. Thank you so much, Miss Shanita. Um, did you get a chance to talk about your brand? I wanted you to speak a little bit, real briefly, about okay. your about your fly brand, real quick. Okay. Um. So yeah, I talked very, very briefly about it, but um, I um, I will give you the lowdown on it. <laughs> Here we go. Um. Five Body Fitness, basically, we provide women that's over the age of 40 with fun, effective, easy to repeat, and a moon boosting cardio workouts. Also, uh, that's provided in our session. Our sparkle sessions are transformative, motivational talks that many have called life-changing. Um, <sighs> the journey of weight release no, um, weight loss, or as I like to refer to it as weight release, can be hard and lonesome, which lends to many women feeling, uh, whew, gotta catch my breath, y'all. I thought, you know, that it's just simple, but it is. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm like, Ooh, I worked up a little sweat. <laughs> a little sparkle. A little sparkle. Okay, um, but it leads to many women giving up on their goals and then, then internalizing those feelings and want to give up on themselves. They get frustrated and overwhelmed and sometimes even go into depression. Now, one of the things that I found is that uh, understanding that you're not alone, that that helps most of my clients and many of my students 
uh, understand that they can feel good about themselves right now, even though they want to transition into a better body and things of that nature. But it all starts here. You got to start here. Like Denise was saying that, you know, you have to have a plan and things of that nature. We got to love our bodies. We got to love where we are right this moment before we can go to the next thing. Got to appreciate what we have right now to be able to have the bigger and the better things to come. So that's one of the things that I really, really focus on. I try to, especially as we get older, you know, really make things simple and easy and enjoyable because fitness should be fun. It should be fun. It should not be something that you dread to do. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm a fitness instructor. I cannot, I don't like, I'll tell them, I started off my journey with saying, I hate the exercise. I hate it. <laughs> um, I learned that it's not that I hate to exercise. There are certain types of exercise that I don't like to do. And that does not mean that I can't find something that's in the fitness realm that will help me get to my goals. Mine's just happen to be uh, dancing. And I throw some fitness in there to make us sparkle <laughs> and help us tone up. I like to tone up our curves, you know, tighten them up, our curves and things of that nature. I really take the negative of fitness and exercising and things and I turn it upside down and make it more of a positive. So it's easy to accept. As my friends like to say, you sugarcoat it. Yeah. <laughs> I sugarcoat it for you, but you get the results and you get what you want in life. So I get that. That's what this is all about. Fly body stands for fully falling in love with yourself your body and fitness. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here and being a part of my, um, about, of my book launch. Appreciate you so much. Let's go to the comments really quick. Um, they are agreeing with you and they, they say, I um, love the idea of being called weight release instead of weight loss. Um, love, um, we got to appreciate what we have right now. Love it, love it, love it. Awesome job, awesome job. Thank you so much. Thank you, right. no problem. I hope to be able to return some favors really soon. In 21, definitely. We're going to be yes, back. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. No, this was a favor. This was a favor. Trust and believe. All right. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hope you guys have fun, was able to sweat it out a little bit um, during that workout really, really quick as well. Um, and so for the moment that we've been waiting for, just uh oh, found, sound like Jesus gave me my voice. <laughs> but those that's been following me long enough, you know that um, one of the things I've been praying for is that one day I will have a voice. Um, and so for those that may be new to, to following me, my name is Clarissa Young. Um, at my highest, I was 515 pounds um, and just basically imprisoned in my own body. And I have been on this journey for some years. I have been <laughs> like seven years um, consistently on this journey. Um, and when I say consistently, what I mean by consistently is this is this is my version of consistent. This is my version of consistent, meaning I have my good days and then I fall off and I get back on. Um, it's, it's no more than a couple of days of, of off. That's what I mean by consistent because sometimes we think consistent means like I never have an off day. I, I never downfall. Like the scale always goes down. Um, sometimes we think that's what consistency means and that, that's not necessarily consistency, at least not inside of my book. Um, and... I've been on this journey, and as I've been on this journey losing weight, I started. Um, I, I started. I started to share my journey with other people, and God has just blessed me so much. And one of the first steps that He blessed me in was I, I published my first book. And when I published my first book, which is also available for purchase on Amazon, Finding a Sensible Balance, which is it tells about my story as well as the workbook 
which allows you to work on the mind and helps you to, to work on fear, doubt, anxiety, depression. I'm a big believer in working on the mental aspect of being able to lose weight. It does talk about helping you to be able to set goals. It does talk about helping you to be able to find support. It does talk about helping you to be able to reward yourself as well. Like it does give you a lot of the different background tips to be able to help you on your weight loss journey. But it helps so much with helping you to be able to deal with the mental aspect of losing weight and adding the faith piece into it. And when I first created this book, it's the, the book launch is not about this book. <laughs> when I first created this book, um, people asked Clarissa, when is the next book coming out? And I'm like, Aah! which this book was released last September um, of 2019. Um, I was like, Aah! hold your horses. I didn't even create this book on purpose. Like this was God um, dropping something on me that I was not expecting. Right. And that book was done. And then I would say, um, and I don't want to cry. I would say in September of 2020, God put this one and this one. It has the, the author proof on here because I'm waiting on the actual copies that I can send out to you guys to have to come. Um, that's why it's only available on Amazon right now. Um. I want to say in like September, God put it on me, Clarissa, it's time for your next book. <laughs> and so not even a whole full year after this book, this book was placed. And I want to tell you a little bit about this book. And it's, it's crazy because I didn't even realize how much this book is going to help so many people, if I'm being honest, until recently. You know, this book is going to give you step by step guidance on how to be able to help you with your fitness journey. It's a 90 day transformation program. So for those people that's like, okay, I'm trying to do my fitness journey, but I'm lost. I need to know where and what to do. We have done the 90 day transformation program inside of our Fabwork Sisters group. And now you have it where you can have it in the book at home. And so I've added step by step information inside of the book at home. It's eight daily steps that you'll do every day. They're inside of this book as well. Um, from drinking your water to exercising, there's the FabFit test in here. Those that's inside of our group, you know, we have our FabFit test, um, which is a collection of exercises that you can do. You can do your own exercises, but it's also a collection of exercise in here. There's talking about sleep the importance of sleep. Um, there's motivation. We also, too, deal with the mental aspect as well. Um, there's so many different things in here. There's a um, uh, an example meal plan that's in here. There's um, so many great different things that's in here. What One key factor that's in here is daily journaling that's in here as well that we put in here is daily journaling. And so... And there's a daily Proverbs where you are to, to meditate on and to, to think about it. Proverbs is about wisdom and, and guidance. And so allowing those Proverbs verses to help us with wisdom and guidance. I want to ask you guys a question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lawanda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Darius, Miss Brenda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sylvia. I want to um, thank you so much, Miss Ramona. I want to ask you guys a, a question, um, and this is a quote, which is one of the quotes that's in here inside of this book um, by Lisa Nichols, and this is one of the things that you will reflect on on one of these days. Um, it says, you are the designer of your destiny. You are the author of your story. And that's by Lisa Nichols. And so when you really think about that, we're getting ready to go into 2021. You are the designer of your destiny. You are the author of your story. That means you have the power to create this life. The life that you're living today is the, the life that you have wrote. Some of us, that may be a hard pill to swallow, but it's the choices and the decisions for the most part that we've made. But the phenomenal, the phenomenal, the phenomenal thing is 
we have the power to change it. And you guys know that I speak on fitness, but I always tell you that it's not only fitness. That is not only fitness. We have the power to change it to whatever it is that we want. At 515 pounds, I would have never imagined that I would be your fitness motivator. I was a young lady that sat at the back of the classroom that was shy and afraid to talk. I'm getting up in here dancing in front of thousands of people, speaking on into you in front of lives. When I was younger, my family thought I had a problem and couldn't hardly talk and so forth. Like, you can create your story any day that you decide to get up and fight. And so that's one of the reflections, but something that you're going to be challenged to do every day inside of this book is you're going to be asked in the next 24 hours, what are you going to do? What are you looking forward to, to creating? And so with thinking about that, if you're the designer of your life, of your journey, of your 2021. 2020 might not have been popping for some of us, but for your 2021, you're the designer of your life. And so for 2021, I'm asking you on December 30th, on December the 31st, right now, today, drop in the comments right now, what are you doing? What are you going to do tomorrow? That's going to make your tomorrow great. What is something that you have planned? What is something that you look forward to? And it doesn't have to be huge, but some of us don't have anything that we look forward to tomorrow. And we wonder why the whole year went by and it wasn't a success because we didn't plan it. But you are the designer of your dreams. You are the author. Are you writing it or are you by chance Letting life write your story. Are you designing your story or is life writing your story? Are you letting life just come and punch you and knock you around every chance it get? Or are you standing up and saying, I'm going to be about my fitness journey. I look forward to getting up tomorrow and going for a walk down at this new park. I look forward to getting up tomorrow and going to the grocery store and trying out this new room. I look forward to getting up tomorrow and meeting five new friends inside of this Facebook group that's also going to start their 2021 goals. Like it doesn't have to be huge things. Okay. And so um, that's my book. That's my book. You can go purchase it right now on Amazon. And for all of those, the giveaway, for all of those who purchase, since it's been live on Amazon up until the end of New Year's Day, for the, all those that's purchased, I'm going to pick 10 people, 10 people that's going to get put in a special chat, in a special chat that for 90 days, you're going to get daily accountability inside of that chat. Because on January the 11th, we're going to start this together inside of our Fab Work Sisters group. We're all going to do this together. Um, and that's going to help you. That's going to help you to be accountable for 90 days. So you're not only doing it. So if once you go get your book now, you're not only doing the 90 day transformation by yourself, you're doing it as a group, as a community. And those that's inside of our sisterhood group, you know how we are as sisters together. And so that means the fat fit test. That means we'll be doing them together as a group. That means the journaling and so forth. We'll be doing them together as a group. So you don't want to miss out. Right. Um, but even so, if you feel like, hey, we're doing it as a group, but I need somebody to watch me a little bit more. I know comes February, I'm going to be off my rocket a little bit and I'm going to need you to be like, Clarissa, Yolanda, are you still journaling? Yolanda, are you still eating your fruits? Miss Deborah, are you still getting your six to eight hours of sleep? Alice, you got your book, Alice? I'm going to put you on a raffle. Alice, are, are you still getting your water? If you like, hey, I, I need somebody to personally kind of look and see, am I still around? Because I need that extra help. And if you feel like you need that extra help, then I need you to make sure you order your book between now and the first so you can be inside of that raffle. And hopefully you'll be one of the 10 that'll be inside of that special chat. And then that way your name will be pulled Um and, and you'll be selected. And so I love you all so much. I love you all so much. Thank you so much, Miss Denise. I should have had some music. I don't know why I got my music, where my music at, right? 
Thank you so much, Lakeisha. Thank you so much, Yolanda. I hear you, Yolanda. I know. I know. Um, thank you so much, Miss Johnny, Miss Brenda. I'm looking down at my husband's phone. Um, thank you so much, Alice. Thank you so much, Miss Debra, Darius. Thank you so much, Cynthia. We about to we about to rock this 2021, right? We about to do this. Thank you so much, Miss Carol, for everything you always do. Um, Miss Ramona is about to create her 2021. It's not about to just happen by chance. She's about to create it. I speak greatness into your life. I'm not a prophet, Miss Ramona, but I speak greatness into your life. Yes, yes, yes. I love you so much, and and I speak it because greater greater is He that is inside of me, and my God, when He speaks, He's able to create. And because I am of His image, you guys know that I have my father's genes. You have your father's genes, right? Just like you may have your father's curly hair, right? The one above, he has the power to speak and create, right? And so I have the power to speak and create because my father has the power to speak and create. So Ms. Ramona, I say greatness is going to be 2021 for you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And anybody else that want to receive that, y'all go ahead and receive it. We're going to all receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Love you all so much. Love you all so much. Love you all so much. All right. Talk to you guys later. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining and sharing. Love you. All right. Bye-bye.